Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a card I've created that I'm titling Just Say Hello where I've painted on some color cardstock. I am starting off with the From the Rooftops Stamps and Coordinating Dies from Simon Says Stamp and I'll be using the mountains for my card. For the base of my mountains I'm using some Simon Says Stamp Fog cardstock and I'll be using an anti-static pouch since I'll be white embossing these. So I'll just rub that around and then I'll ink up my stamp with a Simon Says Stamp clear ink. Then I can shut the door, add a little pressure to get my impression. I'm using the Simon Says Stamp white embossing powder and also my heat tool to do my white embossing. Once I have my images stamped and embossed, I use a piece of post-it paper to secure my die in place so there's no slippage and I can remove the die cut piece from the post-it note paper and I have a perfectly die cut image. I want to add a little tinting and shading to my fog cardstock, so I'm using my Kuretake paints in white and black. I'm using the white on the snow caps and I will dilute down my black for just a little bit of shading and I'm using my water brush to apply my paints. I've done a bit of die cutting to get some of my pieces together and I've used the Simon Says Stamp Painted Hello and I've die cut this four times and I'll glue those together to create a thick message. I've also used the Picture Book Sky Die from Simon Says Stamp for my clouds and also the Simon Says Stamp Moon and Stars Die with fog cardstock to create a bunch of small stars. And finally, I used the smallest of the Simon Says Stamp nested circles to cut out some printed paper. And this is the my favorite things. And I've just used the yellow to create my sun. I've also trimmed a couple quarter inch strips of the yellow paper and some fog cardstock to add some borders. And I hand cut a piece of slate cardstock to kind of look like a mountain scene within the mountains. I'll start my assembly by adding my sun to a piece of Nina White cardstock, and I want this to sit just behind the mountains. Then I'll add a little bit of foam tape to the back of one of the mountain scenes, and I can place this right over the sun. I'm also adding some foam tape to the slate mountain scene, and I am not putting tape where those mountains will sit underneath. I've trimmed up and added a piece of blue printed paper and also some thinly cut foam strips and I've placed those on either side of my mounted mountains. And this is for my yellow piece of paper. This way it'll sit flush to those mountains. And I can just snip the excess off with my scissors. I am now mounting my hello die together and I'm using my two-way glue pen. I just add dots to this. And to stack these together, you just add glue in between each layer of those die cuts. And when you're done, you'll have a nice, durable, almost a chipboard greeting. I'm stamping a greeting onto some fog cardstock, and I've stamped it onto the paper to where I've aligned it. Now I'm adding my strip of cardstock, and this is about a quarter inch, so it'll sit just perfect with that stamp. I like to use the grid and my stamp platform to align this, so I stamp it with a light ink first and then I can place my paper just over top. Once I'm ready, I can use my anti-static bag, my clear ink, I can stamp, and then white emboss. I'll be stacking my greeting on top of the yellow, so first I want to add some dot liner, and then I'll add a thin strip of my foam tape so that it'll balance it out and sit flush with the yellow. I've added my clouds with small pieces of foam tape, and now I'm just adding some Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue down onto the cardstock to add my stars. To add just a little bit of shimmer to the snow caps, I am using the Nouveau Glitter Gloss, and this is an aqua shimmer pen, so it just delivers just a really nice touch of glitter. I felt my card didn't have much depth, so I decided to go back in with some of the black paint and add a little bit more depth and dimension to my mountains. And I changed my mind on the placement of my word hello, so I was able to get that off of that blue paper without any problems with that two-way glue pen. I've added a little bit of foam tape just to the bottom parts of the letters and thought this would look much better sitting on top of that strip. And here's a look at my finished card. It really has a lot of nice depth and dimension to it, and also the colors go really well together. I sure hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check out simonsaysstamp.com blog for more inspiration. And as always, thanks so much for joining me. Mm -hmm.